Hello there, and welcome to a video so long in the making. Now that I finally moved, I was able to put up my Funko display, and as very few of you may remember, and those that have watched me from the start on TikTok, I started off my channel with Funko videos, displaying all the new Funkos I got, especially over lockdown, I realised I was collecting so many of these bobbleheads, and kept saying that when I moved, I'd be able to do a full update with them all on display as at the time I was only able to display a few of my Funkos. Now that I've moved for the second time since, that was about a year and a half ago, I think the start of last year, but now that I've moved, I have finally had the space to display most of my Star Wars Funkos. Indeed, only most, as I do still have a few of them boxed. I have about another 50 plus or so boxed up, but these are all background characters, and I'm afraid if the character didn't have too much of a role, or I didn't favour them as much in the movies they were in, they were substituted for other characters. Especially on the solo front, but I'll let you know more of that later. I'd also like to thank you for 200 plus subscribers. It seems like only last month I was doing the same thing for 100 subs and kickstarting my first LEGO video. So I'm happy to bring something else that's also a part of Star Wars and something I enjoy so much, such as collecting Funkos. As you could see by the thumbnail, which is on your screens now anyway, I do have plenty on show and can't wait to get into showing you my Funko update at last. Starting my first row, you can see Proxy from Force Unleashed, Am and Carl from Visions and a few of the concept designs. The second row has the Bad Batch, few Clone Wars pops, Kenobi, Jar Jar, Ahsoka. The Jar Jar is one of my latest add-ons, a fine addition to be sure. The next line has a few more Clone Wars and prequel ones. You see the Clone Wars ones at the front and the Order 66 pack. Now on to Solo. These are the ones I've managed to display. I do have the full set of Solo Funkos, excluding a few of the exclusives, but I was able to just squeeze Rio in at the back. At the back of the next line, I've got all the Fallen Order Funkos. You see the Purge Trooper, the Inquisitor, Cal, and Merrin, who's one of the recent gaming greats. And in front of them, I've got a few Kenobi Pops. While I don't have Kenobi himself, I do have a few of the exclusives. And b 2 Emo is just down there, in front, sort of hidden away. I would like to sort of balance these out so you can see a few more, such as the Ahsoka and Inquisitor from Rebels, but I'll figure that out down the line. A few of the Rogue One Pops I have there at the front, and that completes this Kirby hole. On to the next, we start with the original trilogy. You see Grand Moff Tarkin and Garandon, the Imperial Spy, is actually just at the back there. I then have the three pack of pilots and of course the Yavin Ceremony models for Luke, Leia and Han, which look great. Empire Strikes Back, I obviously have Vader up front. This is the electronic one, so he does actually make a noise and lights up. And two bounty hunters behind, of course, the Leia and Han in Carbonite, iconic scene. Now for Return of the Jedi, I went with a Force Ghost up front, whilst Qui-Gon doesn't appear, and would be more suited to Kenobi now. If you haven't seen it, he appears at the end. I thought these ghosts just went so well together. A few other characters behind them, such as Iden from the Battlefront 2 game. But the ghosts look amazing at night, as they do all glow in the dark. I'll put up a picture for you of the ghosts glowing, and whilst I'm laying in bed, these are right at the end of the bed, right in the middle. So it's nice to see these four glowing every night when I go to sleep and in the morning when I wake up. I also missed out at the start, but Proxy does also light up. And whilst you can't see it too well in this image, his eyes and all his wires glow, especially on his left hand. And that core piece also tends to glow. Depends how much light they've been getting, and especially at the back of the unit, it's not usually seen too well. Car and Am from Visions, again the others that I showed first, also have lightsabers that glow in the dark. However, you can't see this either, again, due to the light they're not getting throughout the day. On to the Mando ones now, we've gone past the original trilogy. You can see there's a Boba at the back, which doesn't quite fit in, but as he's a flashback scene for Book of Boba and that, which is happening during the first season of Mando, I put him next to the Death Watch Trooper as the flashbacks can go together. I've also got a line for season two. I've got so many Mando pops, 
and you can see a few of them at the back, even Cobb Vanth. There's just not enough space to display all of them on the front row, so I do need to find something that heightens them. I do have a mini Mando too, which is fun. Then we've got Boba on the next row in front of them. You see at the back here, you've got Santo, Boba, Cad Bane, and Luke, if you excuse this R2. Now, the Christmas R2 didn't really have anywhere to go, and there was a gap there, so I whacked him there. But right next to him, I've got my two Ahsoka Pops, ready for the Ahsoka series, drop in August 23rd. And there's two spaces next to her for any Pops I may be picking up very soon. As you can see, this is the top row of my unit, and if we go down a level, you'll see a few sequel Funkos. Now again, I do have a few more of these, but I try to contain it into one cubby hole, as that's what I've done with the rest. We've got sort of the first order row at the back with the odd New Republic droid. We then have the New Republic heroes, as you can see in their might and glory, sort of mixed throughout the three episodes, but I've done my best to organise them the way I can. And onto the last row, we have our sort of Arcto section, I guess. We've got Ray with a saber, we've got Luke, we've got Chewie with a porg, and then we have Ben Solo. And just in front of that, we actually have, as far as I'm aware, the only Diamond Star Wars Funkos. And they're the Valentine's ones from a few years back. You can see each of them have a phrase on the bottom, such as, join the heart side, or I choose you, and they're just really cool Funkos. This is my, my Black Series Jar Jar, has got the cloak from Kenobi and the two spare sabers from Reva. It just had to be done. And there's a few other bits like my Lego models here. These are all minifigure scale. And if you'd like me to take a look at them closer in another video, feel free to drop in the comments below. This is my fiance's, this is my fiance's cubby hole. And as you can see, it's packed with Mario, Minecraft. We just love everything. There's a few other Funkos we've got here that me and my fiance have collected over the years such as Harry Potter, DC, and loads of Disney ones. But that is my Star Wars Funko update. Finally, after all this time, I've been able to make the video. And here they are, in all their glory, on display for everyone to see. Let me know what you think of my collection down in the comments, and let me know what your favourite pop is in my collection. If that's too hard, perhaps you can do favourite few or top five. And let me know your favourite from your own collection. Perhaps one that I don't have myself. If any of you have any idea how I can elevate the pops in between rows, the ones at the back that can't really be seen, only about half the height of the depth of a Funko box, as if you haven't noticed, that is what I'm currently using to display them on. I did have a few spice racks and other things I could use, however I wasn't able to utilise the space as well as I am now. Fit in about 24 Funkos in each of these cubby holes. So if any of you have any ideas of what I could do, let me know down below. I have dabbled with 3D printing and know enough about Lego that either of these is an option. However if you have any other ideas, anything is welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a bit longer than perhaps I would have hoped, but if you want to see any more of my collection closer up, I can do little shorts like I used to all that way back, showing off any of the Funkos you wish to see. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. May the Force be with you, always.